So we're out here on the Project Truth Roadshow. We've been going around sort of Monday to Friday. We're on Thursday now. We've got one more day tomorrow. And the reason we do it is really we're just out in the streets. We've got these leaflets here. And on the back, we've got the development of the baby um, in the first 10 weeks of pregnancy. So we're just drawing people's attention to within the first 10 weeks, uh, the baby has heartbeat, it's got arms and legs, fingers and toes. I've kind of, I've seen the last four, three years and I just thought, I'm pro-life, I have an interest in the area and I think a lot of people don't know what an abortion involves and what life there is from conception. And I just thought, I know, I'm like happy to, to share it with other people, so. It's my personal experience is my mum had me when she was 16. Um, my dad was not there and she got on just great. And I just think, how amazing is that, you know? If my mum can do it, why can't any other girl, you know? That we are pro-women, we, we're, we're here for women, whatever circumstance they find themselves in. Whether they are pregnant or had an abortion, we're here either side just to say, it's all right. We'll get through it and give them yeah, whatever support and, and they relate, need. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So not because we're young, we can relate to them easily. Um, your encounters with people uh, is really important. Um, it can be anything from talking about um, where life begins, uh, the development of the child in the womb. You know, we've got all the fetal models, and we're talking about um, what qualities. Uh, the child has at different stages of development but I mean even little things like this you've got here um, the size of the child's feet at 10 weeks inside the womb and you know that that makes a difference when somebody sees that um, yeah so we're here to talk about the humanity of the child and uh, and also to um, promote the work of ARCH abortion recovery care helpline to help women who are in this uh, problem situations uh, crisis pregnancies and also who afterwards maybe after having an abortion are looking for some help so really we're an all-encompassing mission here it's just amazing to be out with a group of people who believe the same things as you. Um, so there's a real community in it. Um, at night you get to socialise with people who believe the same thing as you and have chats and have lots of fun, make really good friends. And also that, that you're out here, you really are making a difference. We talk to lots and lots of different people. We talk to people that don't know anything about the development of the baby in the womb, that don't know anything about pro-life and who we are and what we believe. Um, you speak to kids who, for them, it's just amazing to see the development of the baby in the womb. You speak to people who've, who've had abortions and you can hopefully touch them in some way as well with our arch leaflets and things on the, on the stall. I'm Joseph. I'm, I'm a student. I'm, uh, I'm actually from India. I'm a student in Edinburgh and I got interested in uh, pro-life activity and I got to know it from a conference I attended in St Andrews. So since then I, I had a feeling like I, we need to talk for people who don't have their actual voice and every child irrespective of what, what it's, it's, a, it's a life that we are getting from God it deserves a chance and we need to speak speak for the people and if you, if you look at the Scotland's population we are, we are, we are having an ageing population. I think that I can acknowledge that abortion is like hurting women and taking lives and discarding society pretty much and people don't know about this and people should know about this. On Monday we were up in uh, Stirling and that was amazing. I've never seen Stirling before but people were so receptive and they're very shocked that there's a push that there's abortion to birth up to the 40 weeks. They couldn't understand that or why there's a need for it. So I work for SPUC down in London. I'm the communications officer. So anything you see on the website or the Facebook or the Twitter, that's all me. Um, I, I first did Project Truth the first time it happened, I think four years ago now, a couple of years ago. Um, so I just really wanted to kind of get up here again, get out from behind the desk and go out and speak to the public about life. Uh, I think we've had some really good reactions so far, so this is our fourth day. I think actually Motherwell today has been great. We've had you know, so many like mothers and kids coming up and so many people signing our petition. I think what we're seeing all over Scotland is people do not want abortion to be decriminalised. Even people who aren't, don't agree with us generally think it's awful that people want to have abortion up until birth. Yeah, so we've had some really good reactions here in, here in Scotland. At the end of the day, you're speaking to guys in the team about it and you really, you know, we talk about it and you really feel that we're doing a really good thing here. That, um, even if we save one life or if we just get people talking about it really, maybe the mood can change the public opinion.